drink? Because I don't drink. I don't, see, I don't get pubs. They want you in there to have a drink. You have a drink and they throw you out for drinking too much. <laughs> see, whenever I'm in the pub, I always think of that advert they show at Christmas. Have you seen it? The bloke walks up to the bar and the bloke behind the counter goes, Ah, sir, do you mind stepping out of the car and doing a breath test? Look, you've had two pints. You're over the limit. There's a 12-month ban and a criminal record. Hey, it's company policy. I've got to let you go. <gasps> oh, no, there's only 20,000 on the clock, but that's my final offer. Oh, that's just great. No license, no job. Now what? <laughs> And then he says, so what's it going to be? I'll have two fucking pints of what you've just had, mate. I'll tell you what. Because <laughs> you're off your head. Because that's how you end up when you're pissed, isn't it? You become all these different characters. You'll always see that bloke wandering around the, the car park of the pub on a Friday on his own going, fuck off, you fucking old slag. I just want a couple of weeks break. Well, fuck off, Dan. You, <laughs> you know, he's having his own AA meeting out there, you know? I'm not an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> it's funny, you can only do that when you're really pissed, have a really good time, but at the same time, have a really bad time. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> then you've got the lads night out. You'll always have a bunch of blokes at the bar going, down in one, down in one, down... Because whenever piss heads sing, it's always that same tune. Down in one, down in one. And whatever they're going to do next, I'm going to the bog. He's going to the bog, go to the bog, go to the bog. I'm going up the bar. He's going to the bog, go to the bog, go to the bog. <laughs> I'm going home. He's going home, going home. I'd like to see that bloke Gareth Malone from the series The Choir take on a bunch of pissheads, wouldn't you? <laughs> OK, let's try Yesterday by Paul McCartney. After three. One, two, three. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> Have you noticed pissheads always want to sing about how you're getting home? Have you noticed that? You're going home in the fucking ambulance. <laughs> it's all right if you're an ambulance driver, you know? You're going home in the fucking ambulance. I am, actually. How the fuck do you know? <laughs> that you're psychic or something. It's always the same with piss heads. It's great all that singing about how you're going to get home, but they never offer any helpful travel options home, do they? You're going to catch a 903 to the station, then get on the mainline express service to Doncaster, unless there's major engineering works, in which case you're advised to change to a road placement bus service. <laughs> Women are just as bad. You ever see a hen night? A bunch of girls piss at the red, bashing each other over the head with a giant inflatable penis. What's that about? <laughs> you never get a bunch of blokes on a stag do, do you? Bashing each other over the head with a giant inflatable vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, lo I love the fancy dress hen night. You'll always get that girl turn up at the pub dressed as Wonder Woman going, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Five hours later, you'll see her bunged out the pub doing exactly the same, pissed out of her head, going... Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> now she's just a woman you fucking wonder about, you know? <laughs> it's like that bloke who's all excited about going out dressed in a Superman costume. He's like, Superman! Five hours later, you'll see him behind the Chinese in exactly the same position, going... <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Is that a bird? Is that a plane? <laughs> Fucking carrots, eh? <laughs> see, whenever I see a bunch of girls out on a hen night, I always worry about the bride to be wearing a veil and nail plates. Is she really that innocent? All that bashing over the head with a giant inflatable penis makes you wonder if she's not seen a real one before, she's gonna be in for a massive disappointment. <laughs> and point number two, if she thinks that's how it's done, the groom's gonna be in for a bit of a shock, isn't he? <laughs> Go on, hit me over the head with it! You sure, love? Go on, fuck it, hit me over the head! <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Not for me, love, it ain't. <laughs> I just got a sore soldier, I got a sore soldier here. Doesn't matter whether it's a stag do or a hen night, when drinks involve, you always end up doing something you regret the next day. Some pisshead gets in, his wife's like that. What do you think you're doing coming home at five in the morning? I've got to be up for work at six. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never do anything you're proud of when you're pissed. I mean, Albert Einstein didn't come up with the theory of relativity on a lad's night out. He wasn't standing at the bar going, ah, fuck hell, MC squared, MC squared, MC squared. <laughs> Uh, it's always something you regret, like going to a lap dancing club. You'll always get a bunch of pissed up blokes full of testosterone in a lap dancing club paying to drool over something they can't have. You know, there's that woman in front of them on that pole going... Do you want this? You can't have them! Do you want this? You can't have them! It's a con! Where else could that happen? 
damn, you'd be really pissed off if you was up Greg's. <laughs> you know, you just pay for that chocolate eclair and the woman behind the counter is like... Do you want this? Here you go down there! <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no, to those pissed up idiots, she's just a bit of meat on a pole. Then later on, they're staggered to the nearest kebab shop and do exactly the same. Stand there holding money, drooling over that kebab, going around on a fucking pole. <laughs> Do you want the, you're going out the, um, that was me sheep, that was me sheep. <laughs> Do you know what I hate most about going out, trying to get home? I don't like getting into those dodgy minicabs after the pub shuts. You know, it's the weekend, you manage to flag down one of those dodgy minicabs, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like you're getting into a minicab, does it? It smells like you've just climbed into the driver's ass crack. <laughs> dipped in onion gravy, you know? You know, you're in the back of the cab going, hmm, you must be a bisto bum. <laughs> Even the pine-scented magic tree hanging from the mirror is like, take me with you. <laughs> Don't leave me here, please. <laughs> Why do all mini cab drivers look like they've run through Sports Direct in a hurry covered in fucking glue? <laughs> they don't have dress down Friday, they have couldn't give a fuck. Weak. 